what is up guys welcome back to the channel so as you guys can see we have my g35 with a g37 front end conversion g35 rear end g37 front end conversion de rev up motor so you guys can see here the last uh update that we did on ruby done more polished chrome stuff in the engine bay as you guys can see we did the uh, polished pulleys and stuff like that and brackets along with the polished uh, power steering alternator and the brackets that hold it up and all that stuff. So we did that. So, but on today's video, what we're going to be doing, guys, is something right here in the front bumper. Something that I've wanted for so long that I actually had before and then got rid of thinking that I was just going to get another set. But then turns out it was discontinued. But... So that's what we're, we're, we're going to be doing today. We're going to be swapping out uh, these fog light delete inserts with an actual uh, fog light insert. We're going to go pick up a bumper today. Uh, it's, uh, the original ones came with uh, the fog lights, the original IPLs. Anything that was ordered IPL bumper after that came with these fog light deletes. So they didn't come with the IPL uh, inserts. They only came with those. So... That's been like that for a while. I had a set before and then I let them go. Probably like two, probably when I did first did the conversion, thinking that I was just gonna find a ni another set that I was thinking I'm like, okay, I'll get a, ni a nicer, cleaner set. And then uh, that didn't end up working out because they were discontinued as I found out later on. But let's go LA, pick these up, and then we'll head back here and we'll swap everything out. And, um, wire them up because i do want them to work properly the way they should so let's head out yeah i appreciate it <laughs> so right here we have ipl bumper that we were able to source out huge shout out to ryan appreciate it thank you bro so we're gonna be doing all right so it's been a while and uh, it's been like about a week and I had gotten the fog light inserts now. I took them off from that bumper. And now what we're going to be doing is putting in the actual fog, light, fog lights because uh, the bumper didn't come with the actual fog lights. It was just the inserts. But as you guys can see, we have the opening right here, whereas this one does not. So there's no opening right there. We got this one. I think this is the one for this side. No. But... Uh, this is the one from this side. As you guys can see right here, we have brand new fog lights, built-in LED fog lights. I put that one up just so I could see if you guys saw me on Instagram. Uh, follow me on Instagram. You guys saw the, how I posted these up, but we're finally gonna be able to actually install them. And then right here, we have the actual brand new built-in LED plug and play fog lights. So not your typical, maybe that you can see the LEDs in there. So not your typical regular fog lights that have the little bulb in the back that you have to put on separately. These are aftermarket bright white LEDs. And as you guys see, bolted this one on already. So this one's actually for this side, the driver's side. Definitely gonna look so much better with these on actually did come with some wiring that i'm just gonna like have to cut up i don't know what all this is for exactly but literally all i need is just a uh, one cable for the ground and then one cable for the fog light and then um hopefully that works perfectly fine i'm not exactly sure why this one has three cables but we'll i'll check it out I got the bumper off right now so i'm gonna be taking those off in a bit but testing this thing out, we have, right, let's see if I can set you guys up right here. But you guys can see, we have the uh, two cables right here. So it's the bluish turquoise color. 
and then we have the ground that I left off to the side. And we got the plug right here. I'm gonna put the ground with the black wire, stick it in through. I'm gonna put the other one into one of the pins, see what lights it up, what lights up and what doesn't. So we got that one in there. Definitely don't want these two kids to touch. All right, so we got the two top, top and bottom strip on, on the middle one. Oh, there we go. That's the fog light. So that's a lot brighter right there. So that's definitely the fog light. And then the other one, that little dim light right there is supposed to be the running light. So these have a running light option on it. That's why it comes with a cable that goes to a fuse and all that. So that's to, that's the running lights, those two small LEDs, one on top, one on the bottom. And then that's the actual fog light. So that's the one that we're trying to get to. This one, that one maybe or maybe not, we'll, we'll see if we end up wiring it. But for now, what I do wanna do is connect the actual big fog light bulb. So now we know what to tap into, let's get into wiring. Okay, so now we got them all cut up. We got the plug and the three wires. So technically all we need, I'll leave this hanging or I'll probably just tap this into the harness. So uh, I can have those two little strips, that top one and then that bottom one, that, that little random strip, you can see the LED in there and that LED on the bottom. So those two little stripes turn on and then the actual fog light is the white one. So same thing with this one, this one's a lot longer gonna basically connect this tiny little wires into these bigger wires or actually they're probably about the same size just a lot more thicker in plastic black with black and then the white with this one basically basically type them in like that those two like that and then I have my plug for the fog light to work with my switch inside. So I don't have to use this thing, random ass switch, which is cool. I guess you could say I could still save this for something else, but this is all I need. All right, so we got the two wires tapped in to this. And then of course, like I said, the yellow wire turns on the other bulbs, but we got it plugged in. Now let's turn on the lights and see if it actually turns on with the fog lights. So fog, fog lights are currently off. That's the strip, headlights, and fog lights. So you guys can see. Damn, that's bright. <laughs> oh, I looked directly at it. That's bright though. Hell yeah. <laughs> so we got working fog lights now that I could just unplug whenever I want with this right here. Well, I gotta pull it, I need both my hands, but we got a plug, plug and play now, basically. And now we can actually mount these up to the bumper and put everything back together. So let me just do the other side real quick, which I need to figure out which one of these two cables it is. And then I'll see which one, because uh, the guy, when I first did my conversion, just did a hack job and just basically hacked everything right here. So I need to figure out what's what. All right, so now we got both fog lights wired in. Let's check them out. The bolt with the switch. <laughs> Hell yeah, super excited. So now we can actually get into uh, putting these things on onto the bumper, just get the fog light deletes out, put these in, of course.
right, so we got the fog lights now on. Let's air the car out, because you know, it, looks, it always looks better when it's aired out. And now let's turn these lights on. See how she looks. Oh yeah. Look at that. Oh my God, it looks so much nicer. Fog lights working perfectly how they should. All right, so we're gonna take Ruby out to get a car wash because she definitely, definitely needs it. She's been sitting for a while since the show, but I'm just gonna add some oil because, you know, we need some oil up in this thing. 1040 on mileage. EQ problems. Let's get a cold startup too. Uh, I can't wait to show you guys later on at night. Right now we're gonna head off to the gym and we'll give you guys a sneak preview of how she looks when the fog lights are turned on at night. All right, so we just finished up gym. Moved the car a little bit so we can check it out. Look at that. Working fog lights. Definitely gives a whole, the car a whole new look. Especially at night, as you guys can see right here. Look at that. Oh yeah, that looks so much better. But that's gonna be the end of today's video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I couldn't get too much into the wiring uh, aspect of it because my car is a G35, not a G37. So uh, later on, if I ever do G37 fog lights, I could, uh, do a video about that where uh, you tap it into the actual fog light switch of the harness. But uh, again, thank you guys for always supporting the channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.